Welcome everybody to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we will first uh, look into some news events and after that we will uh, take a look into uh, the price action and some possible trade setups. So we start uh, the message with um, uh, Coinbase app crashing uh, on the 28th of, uh, sorry, 29th of April. Um, yeah, just like Larry Cermak says, says here, um, yeah, that was, of course, the day with the big Bitcoin move. And um, yeah, that's very similar of, as what happened in uh, 2017 uh, with the big bull run. A lot of exchanges couldn't keep up with the demand and um, like their infrastructure wasn't ready for it. Um, so their apps were crashing, weren't allowing new customers to enter. And yeah, that's uh, kind of saddening, just like Larry Sermak says. Um, yeah, quite sad because we want to be ready for the bull run and we hope the exchanges are ready for it as well. Um, as well, um, Kraken had the same issues. Um, that's of course one of the exchanges, just like Coinbase, where people buy a lot of spot Bitcoin. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit worrying um, me. Um, so I hope uh, they will fix their issues and they will, um, yeah, be able to start the pump soon. <laughs> Because we need spot and retail for it. Uh, here a look at my uh, Twitter account. Yesterday uh, or last night, I spotted something quite bullish on the lower time frame, the five minute chart. I do not recommend anyone to look at the five minute chart because it is sometimes confusing and you lose the bigger picture. But over here, I saw uh, a nice little opportunity. I tweeted this at um, 2 30 exactly. And one minute later, the price was already um, around $70 up and it went all the way to um, 292, or sorry, 9200, um, or 9200, whatever. Um, looking at the uh, Bitcoin Wisdom chart with uh, the 200 moving average, uh, we see the moving average, the 200 moving average uh, is still at 8K. And for me, the signal of the 200 moving average uh, is, is like, if we are above it, we are in the bull market. If we are under it, we are in the bear market. Look at what happened over here. We were under it. We had like a pretty bad bear market. Broke it and we went all the way up. Um, yeah, got under it here. And yeah, well, we know what happened. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, we see the Bitphoenix. Oh, this is both times Bitphoenix. Uh, sorry, we need Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, BTC, USD, this one. Yeah, and if there is a premium in the price uh, on Coinbase over Bitfinex, that is usually very bullish as well. And that is because um, a lot of retail is buying on um, uh, Coinbase, so that's new money entering. So we want to see the Coinbase Pro price, um, yeah, a bit higher than the Bitfinex price, because Bitfinex price, it's it's mostly people who are already invested, and Coinbase is mostly new people um, entering the space, or new money entering the space. Bitfinex has a lot of Tater, people entering with Tater. And of course, uh, the Tater printing, uh, going on is always very bullish as well so we want to see tater printing and in the best case as well a premium on coinbase which is the case right now as you can see i don't know if you guys can see it but there's around a, a 10 dollar premium on coinbase so that is really good as well really good news means people are buying with new money and as well that's why it was uh, that was why um, coinbase was uh, was crashing on the 29th of April and um, the chart I posted on my Twitter last night it made like I said the run up to um, uh, 9200 and went down after that um, yeah what else I I don't know what the direction is we need to zoom out to give us a direction and we will do that now remove the drawings it can look a bit different um, or it can look a bit of the same as what we do every day but every day I want to like 
take a new look, draw it new, like maybe we see different things. Yep, that line, valid. Coming days, I have um, Trading View uh, Pro, um, so that means the coming days we will also use some other tools like the Volume Per Range tool, for example, um, just to give um, some new lines. These are the lines I see right now. And also, we are at this line right now, and I hope we can close the weekly above it. Oh, now we're we talking about it. Let's draw some things on the weekly chart as well. Yeah, and we're just above this line. This was a very, very important line. As you can see, it what happened when we broke it. We went all the way down. Um, yeah, let's take first like look, let's take a look at the weekly first since it is closing tonight. Looking very good. Looking very good. You either want to um, um, draw trend lines on the candle bodies or on the tops. So that means you either want to draw, draw them all on the tops or draw them all on the bodies. So let's take a look. Yeah, it looks very, very good. Very, very good. Let's put one over here. We exactly touched that one. Let's put another one over here. Yeah, it looks very good. This one is a very important line. As you can see this candle closed over there. This one, this one, yeah, and over here, this one touched it. So yeah, that's an important point, and it's around um, 8200. So yeah, we like it. It like we. Yeah, we are, we are, we are wedged in between there. I see things are gonna start to look a bit messy, but we'll keep on drawing and zoom in. Yeah, ideally we wanna, yeah, we wanna close above that one because it is a big resistance. I saw some other lines as well. Look, we can always draw this one as well. I like this one a lot. Um, a possible scenario is, of course, scenario is, of course, uh, we break down from here and we do this kind of thing, you know, and go up. Doesn't have to happen right now. Um, halving is in four days, which is, of course, very bullish. That means uh, fewer bitcoins will be created, um, so less people can buy new bitcoins. Um, like, yeah, the inflation, there will be less printed money, so the value will go up. Um, that's the scenario everybody is thinking about, and I agree with that. Um, yeah, let's zoom in again a little bit more because we have this line. Yeah. And do we see something over here as well? We could. We could. So this would. Yeah. That's support right now. That is support right now. Draw it from the way over here. We're just seeking lines. Lines. Lines who are strong, who are being acted up on. So yeah, this is one quite a valid line. Yeah, if we if we if we break, like this is the line to break now right now. That's exactly this spot making a higher high. 
and that's around ten and a half thousand dollars. Um, yeah, the volume per range is quite high as well around this area. So this is an area of importance, and we exactly touched this. This line goes all the way through to our top from 2017. So yeah, for me, I think we will get a retest at 8K, 200 moving average. That's over there. That's over there. Or we keep running, 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 just like we did over here. Look, we made a, a $1,000 pump and it went all the way up, up, up. We do have some pullbacks or shakeouts in a bull run, usually whip everybody out of their leverage positions and go up again so yeah something else what can be um, a nice tool i think are the tensor charts they have heat maps you can see where people have placed orders so as you can see um, there were big orders protecting the price from dumping as well as over here and right now we are not really protected either on the upside really or downside um, this is the bit phoenix chart and as well this is the bitmax chart look over here we had strong protection strong protection and over here as well other places yeah this one you can see really see it um, sometimes it means it means something and sometimes we just dump right through it or pump right through um, big orders or they just disappear uh, right now on BitMEX we seem to have some support over here and on uh, BitPhoenix we don't have a lot of support uh, we do have some little resistance um, it's a fun tool it's also on Bitcoin Wisdom the aggregated heat map it's somewhere over here you can always click on it and we will take another look at Ethereum Bitcoin it's over here we zoom out a little bit the one day two-year trend line with support and resistances and yeah if the daily closes like this we are out we are out I said this line was messed up um, yeah it needs to close above this one let's look at the weekly since it's closing today well it cannot close any lower than this otherwise we are out there was some news about Ethereum uh, 2.0. Um, I haven't really read it, um, but usually good news reflects the price and bad news reflects in the price as well. Um, some people say, "Show me the price and I'll show you the news uh, and I'll tell you the news." Um, yeah, not really something I have to say about this. Um, this trend line very important. If we break over it, we are gonna make. Are gonna see a big move um, but right now it's not the case maybe we test this trend line again um, and go up from there or we break down um, yeah we saw last year during the um, smaller bull run in 2019 that uh, the altcoins really um, yeah they got destroyed kind of as you can see over here they went all the way down um in the ratios uh yeah so that was it for today guys i hope um yeah my lessons were valuable please let me know in the comments follow me on twitter subscribe like leave a comment as i said and see you guys tomorrow